Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to add assets to Rizuna. When we talk about assets, we mean almost any kind of file imaginable. To add assets, first we need to choose the folder in which we want to add the assets. In this case, we've chosen My Folder, which you'll find in the folder list to the left. Once we've selected the folder, we simply click Add Assets to this folder at the top. This opens a window where you can choose how to add the assets. You can add from a server, from email, or via FTP. We'll show you how to add via FTP shortly. But for now, we're simply going to add assets from my hard disk. We do this by opening the relevant folder on our hard drive and dragging and dropping the assets to the Rizuna window. They're all now in the file list, ready to be uploaded. One thing to notice is that we decided to add a zip file. We can automatically extract the contents of the zip file while keeping the folder structure. Now we click Upload, and the files will be uploaded to the folder on Rizuna. Now we can close the window. In order to see the uploaded files on Rizuna, we need to refresh the folder by clicking it in the folder list to the left. As you can see, our chosen assets have now been uploaded. And there's a large variety of assets uploaded to this folder. Rizuna provides you with a fast way of organizing all the different formats. It dynamically creates tabs above the folder for the various formats, in this case images, audio, and so on. It's that easy to get an overview. If we click on video, we only see the videos we uploaded. If it's a Windows Media file format, when we click on it, we'll be taken to a page which starts playing the video. As this format is not a streaming format, it will start buffering and then playing the video. With Rizuna, you can easily convert the video to another format. On the Renditions tab, you can select a different format. In our case, let's create a WebM format with a width of 800 pixels. Rizuna will keep the original aspect ratio, so here it automatically suggests a height of 448 pixels. When the file is converted, it will show up in the Information tab. And if we click on the new rendition, we'll now see a streaming version of the video, which starts playing immediately, since WebM is a streaming format. Let's go back to the Main Contents folder. What you'll notice is that Rizuna automatically creates previews of all uploaded documents. There's, for example, a preview of the PDF document at the top. At the bottom, we have a PSD file, a Photoshop document, and Rizuna has created a small preview window. As with the videos, we can also create renditions of Photoshop documents. Again, we choose the Create Renditions tab at the top. In this case, we'll want to create a JPEG version of the image. We set a width for 1600 pixels, and Rizuna keeps the aspect ratio and sets the appropriate height for us. We click Convert and go back to the Information tab, and once it's converted, the new file will show up underneath the original. Another interesting feature in Rizuna is the ability to extract and write metadata. Let's take a look at this image down here, and go to one of the metadata tabs. You'll notice that Rizuna has automatically extracted the metadata from the image. If we change it, this new data will automatically be written into the image and will travel with the image across platforms. Now, let's have a look at how to add assets via FTP. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll create a new subfolder. This is simply done by clicking on the Create Subfolder icon above the folder contents. We give the folder a name. Below, we decide on the permissions. In this case, we restrict access to the folder only to me. The folder now shows up on the left, and if we refresh, also in the Contents window. We go into the folder and Add Assets by clicking Add Assets at the top. The same window as before appears, and we select the Add with FTP tab. Now we enter the details for the FTP server, where we want to fetch the assets. Host, Username, and Password. We don't need to enter the protocol, so no FTP or HTTP prefixes here. Rizuna now connects to the FTP server 
and shows you the folder list where you can select which assets to fetch. Once ready, simply click on Add Selected Assets and Rosuna will connect and immediately start downloading them. To see the new assets, simply refresh the folder by clicking on it in the folder list. And here we are, the assets have been downloaded. Again, Rizuna creates previews of the Photoshop documents. Well, there it is, how to upload assets to Rizuna in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and thank you for using Rizuna.